And I'm going to show you how to make a time machine backup using a free program called the FreeNOS and another free program called Sun's VirtualBox. You can also use uh, just a regular computer and install FreeNOS on it, uh, but I have a lot of storage on one of my main computers, so I'm just going to use a virtual environment so I don't have to uh, maintain yet another server or piece of hardware sitting in the, in the basement. Alright, so like I mentioned, FreeNOS and Sun VirtualBox are completely free. Um, and there's probably a billion other ways to do this, but I'm just showing you the quick and dirty way um, to get all your stuff backed up on your Mac using the Time Machine uh, feature that's built in the 10.5 and 10.6. So in VirtualBox, we're just going to go ahead and create a new machine. Um, and I'm going to call it Time Machine. And FreeNOS is a BSD distribution. Um, so we'll just pick BSD and then I'll give it some memory I'd say 512 is probably okay let's try that again 512 and then we're gonna create a new hard hard drive for it to use um, and I'm gonna use dynamic so it doesn't use all the space right away on our drive and 5 gigs should be enough now this is just for a primary drive to then install the OS this isn't actually the storage so now in Sun VirtualBox, we're going to go ahead and configure that. Uh, virtual machine, we're going to shut off the floppy drive. We don't need that. Uh, processor, you can pick more if you want, but we don't need that. The display, really don't need because it's command line. Uh, and then storage, here's where we add. First, I'm going to get rid of the floppy controller here. All right, and then we're going to add another controller. Um, so we can add our actual data store for our time machine to use. And this is where you'd want to add or have it at least um, when we create the other data store, you make it at least double of what your Mac is currently using so we have enough uh, so we can go back in time if we need to far enough. For this uh, demo I'm just going to make it 80 gigs. All right, and for whatever reason, this version has a small little bug where it adds all your data stores. So I'm just going to get rid of all the ones that I'm not going to use and just keep the one that I just made. Um, so next, we'd go to like audio. Uh, we don't need any audio because uh, it's just a file server. We're going to change the network to bridged and then get rid of the USB. And also under the CD-ROM, make sure you add the free NAS ISO that you downloaded. So we have something to boot from 